time you are proud. Look at the first child that you are to have. At the time the child was to be born, they said the child is dead, still birth. And then, after you cleaned up and you overcame the sorrow, another pregnancy, and then you delivered that child again. And then the third one, that child again. And you always see somebody just that month, just that week, you have to deliver. And then the fourth pregnancy is there now. And then you see the Lord before you see her. And you see the promise before you see her. And you see me, look up here, look up and look at me here. You see me before you see her. Victory has come. I said victory has come. A living miracle child has come in Jesus' name. And then after seeing the Lord, after seeing the promise, after seeing me, because I carry the promise of the Lord, I'm your servant, I carry to I say, see, your miracle child has come. I'm your servant, I'm the servant of the church, and I say, see, it has come. Everybody say, it has come. And after that, then you dream and you see, lo and behold, you see her. You say, why? What's happening? I thought I'll see my pastor in my dream. Look at the woman I'm seeing. It doesn't matter anymore. I said it doesn't matter anymore. How persuaded are you? I am fully persuaded. It is done in Jesus' name. If they come, if they come after this time, look at them and tell them, this time you came too late. This time you came too late. Everybody say you came too late. I got it already. Miracle child, miracle child, miracle child, miracle supply. I got it already in Jesus' name. I'm being fully persuaded that he that had promised, he was able, what he had promised, he was able also to perform. Able also to perform. Able also to perform. It is done in Jesus' name. Mark chapter 9 verse 23 Mark chapter 9 verse 23 Jesus said unto him if thou canst believe all things are possible how many things are possible all things victory all things dominion all things reigning in life all things a new job all things a new Miracle child, all things, a new family, all things, joy, happiness, fulfillment, a new thing happening to you. All things are possible to him that believeth. You believe it will be done. Mark chapter 11 verse 22. And Jesus answering says unto them, A faith in God, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass what's the next thing tell me out loud say that again he shall have, he shall have, he shall have whatsoever he says. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, what things soever ye desire, forget the pharaohs, whatsoever things ye desire, forget Nebuchadnezzar, whatsoever things ye desire, forget the ruler of the synagogue, whatsoever things ye desire, it's your desire that matters today. It's your desire that matters today. Whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. 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 Are you ready to have? 
Are you ready to possess? Are you ready for your breakthrough? Why don't you stand up ready for your breakthrough? Ready for your breakthrough. Ready for your breakthrough. Ready for your breakthrough. Nothing holding you back anymore. Nothing holding you back anymore. Whatsoever you desire, show your desire to the Lord. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, Here is my desire. The desire to be victorious. Victory over sin. Victory over sickness. Victory over satanic affliction. Victory over suffering. Victory over the strangers. That's my desire. That's my desire. Open your mouth and tell the Lord that desire, having dominion, having authority, knowing, not a Pharaoh, not a Nebuchadnezzar, not an evil personality, not a strange personality can hinder this desire. The key is in your hand. The key for the breakthrough. Open the door and open that door by faith. Open that door by faith. Whatsoever you desire, every good thing you want, you are the one that has the final say. Don't surrender your heart, your life, your soul, your body, your family, your career into the hands of an enemy, to the hands of a stranger. Whatsoever you desire. Don't make those wrong confessions anymore. I cannot. Yes, you can. I can overcome. Yes, you can. I cannot have dominion. Yes, you can. I cannot be victorious. Yes, you can. I cannot get healed. Yes, you can. I cannot have the blessing of God. Yes, you can. I cannot claim my right. Yes, you can. Victory over sin. Victory over that chronic disease. Victory over satanic affliction, satanic attack. They won't leave me alone. Yes, they leave you alone. Yes, they leave you alone. Yes, they have left you alone. Your destiny is in your hand, not in the hand of a stranger. Your destiny is in your hand, not in the hand of wicked people, not in the hand of the ruler of the synagogue. Your destiny is the hand of the Lord and has given you the key. Open the door and have your breakthrough. Sickness will not have dominion over you. Sin will not have dominion over you. Suffering will not have dominion over you. Miscarriage will not have dominion over you. Failure will not have dominion over you. Defeat will not have dominion over you. Weaknesses, frailty, faltering will not have dominion over you. You hold the key. You hold the key to your breakthrough. Open the door. Move in confidently, boldly, courageously. Trample over that sin. Trample over that sickness. Trample over that bad dream. Don't live your life on the basis of dreams. Live your life on the basis of the promise of God, the power of God, the protection of the Lord, the provision of the Lord. Bury those dreams. They're nothing. Don't look at them. Be fully persuaded in your heart that what God has promised not a dream can just cancel it like that. What the eternal 
God has ordained. What a mighty God has ordained. Not a Satan, not a demon. Not a Pharaoh, not an Herod. Not a stranger, not a neighbor. Not a man, not a woman. Can disannul it. It's done. It's done. It's done. The key is in your hand. The key is in your hand. Not in the hand of the stranger. Not in the hand of an enemy. You hold the key. What you need to be the miracle is right there in your hand. The Lord has come to deliver you. Pharaoh may threaten when he hears that. Your enemies may threaten when they hear that. Strangers may threaten when they hear that. You don't want to believe the stranger more than you believe your God. You don't want to believe a stranger more than you believe your Savior. You don't want to believe a dream. You don't know where it's coming from more than you believe the Word of God. Victory has come. The Lord has come to set you free. To take you out of that Egyptian bondage. And bring you to the land that is flowing with milk and honey. The rest of your life will be a life of fulfillment. A life of joy. In Jesus name we pray. Did you desire victory? Did you desire dominion? Did you say it in your prayer? Did you ask the Lord what to give you? Did you ask for full salvation with total, complete, 365 days of victory over sin? Are you victorious over sin now? Victorious over Satan now? Victorious over sickness now? Victorious over suffering now? How about the strangers? I said how about the strangers? Will the strangers be the director of your life? Will the strangers be the controller of your life? Will the strangers be the final voice in your life? Do you have victory over the strangers? I'm going to confirm it now. All we need is my agreement with you. You want it and agree with you. If two of us shall agree as touch anything, it is done in Jesus' name. You are healed in Jesus' name. You are victorious in Jesus' name. That thing you have been trying to get, you've been trying to get, you've been trying to get, and slipping away from your hand, now it's right in your hand. You possess it now in Jesus' name. Raise up those hands. Are you victorious? Don't cry again, don't cry again, don't cry again. You've seen the Lord, any other stranger you see after that is nullified. Because now your victory has come. The power has come. The authority has come. The miracle has come in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. The day of your power. We thank you. We thank you for this hour. It's an hour of your power. And Lord, I agree with every one of my brother, every one of my sister, every one of our children over there. Victory has come in Jesus' name. What we agree on at this hour of your power, no devil can reverse it. No enemy can reverse it. 
No stranger can even see it. Lord, it is done in Jesus' name. All the sin that your people have confessed and forsaken, you promise forgiveness, forgive them in Jesus' name. They want to be saved, those who are not saved. They want eternal life and they have confessed it to you. That salvation will victory. That salvation will victory over sin. Give to everyone in Jesus' name. Healing has come. Healing has come. That disease in your body, I cancel it now. Every sword in your body, I cancel that now. The torment of the devil in your brain, in your mind, insanity, I cancel it now. Goiter, I cancel that right now. Tuberculosis, I cancel that right now. Cancer, in any part of your body, I remove that in Jesus' name. All the blindness, dumbness, deafness, I cancel that in Jesus' name. That recurrent disease, taking out your finance every time, I remove that right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, all the defeat in the life of any child of God here, either in his personal life, in his family life, in his career, in his business, professional life, all that defeat, I cancel that in Jesus' name. Every good desire of your heart, receive it right now. Every good aspiration in your life, receive it right now. All the longings you have and the hope, I'll get this, I'll do this, rise up, move ahead, and go and succeed in Jesus' name. I silence all those strangers in your life, all those strangers in your dream, all those strangers in your community, all those strangers bringing all those defeats, all those thoughts of defeat, I cancel the authority in your life in Jesus' name. From this day, you experience that power. You are saved. You are healed. You are delivered. You are set free. The power of the Lord is upon your life right now. No more bondage, no more captivity, no more negative condition, no more enemy overpowering you. You have got your breakthrough. You have got your breakthrough. You have got the breakthrough. Pregnant woman, your child will live. Father, your children will be happy will make you happy mothers your children will make you happy miracle upon your life miracle in your family miracle in your place of work miracle around you next time when you come testimony in your mouth testimony in your mouth testimony in your mouth it is confirmed in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you because we know it is done. Lord, we thank you because we know it is done. Lord, we know it is done in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer because we know you have answered in Jesus' name. We pray. A victorious amen. An amen of dominion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.